Hello my dear family members today we will discuss some important question which was asked today on my exam so let's see without any delay so the first question is regarding the programming based question okay so the first question is this which sorting algorithm is the fastest for large data set with a complex comparison function bubble sort quick sort merge sort or selection sort which is the correct option please think a little then give the answer in the comment section then i will cross check it okay so if correct then i will give a heart okay so the correct answer for this is quick sort so just wait i will give you the tips how to answer all the question okay so quick sort is generally faster for large data sets because it has an average case time complexity of big o of n log n okay and benefits from good catch a performance due to its in place sorting and nature okay so how can you remember uh, that for this question the answer is quick sort the tip is think like quick for quick when it comes to speed and efficiency quick sort is often the go to choice for large data sets so that's why quick sort will be the best choice in this case okay so let's go to the next question that is what is the time complexity of the best case of the bubble sort algorithm big of n to n to the power 2 big of n log n big of n big of 1 so please think a little then give the answer okay so i hope you tried so the correct answer will be in this case what the correct answer will be big of n so i hope you are also right so why big of n because in the best case when the array is already sorted bubble sort only requires one pass through the array making its time complexity big o of n only so how can you remember this bubble sort is the best when things are in order things are already sorted right so that's why big o of n will be the correct answer in this case okay so the next question is which data structure is used to implement the breadth first search bfs algorithm so stack queue priority queue or linked list actually i discussed this question yesterday and the question asked today right so if you have been watching the playlist of ld mindry then you are getting some common question from this okay so i hope you are watching so the correct answer for this is queue okay so i hope you will give the answer for dfs okay so what data structure is used to implement dfs please give the answer in the comment section okay so the next question is in a graph which algorithm can be used to find the shortest path from a single source to all other verticals dfs bfs dj castras algorithm or prims algorithm so please think a little then give the answer okay otherwise this will not be helpful for you okay so the correct answer for this will be dj castras algorithm why because dj castras algorithm is designed to find the shortest paths from a single source vertex to all other verticals vertex in a weighted graph okay how can you remember that like a for a shortest path just think a uh, dj castras drive to reach the destination dj castras drive to reach the destination for shortest path okay so this way you can remember that the answer will be dj castras algorithm okay so i hope you understood the next question is what is the height of a complete binary tree with n nodes okay so log in n n by 2 log n plus 1 by minus 1 so what will be the correct answer so as many of you have exam today or within very few days so i am not uh, wasting my time so let's uh, answer that okay so the correct answer will be log n plus 1 minus 1 how I'm explaining the height of a complete binary tree with n nodes is log n plus 1 minus 1 as the tree is perfectly balanced except for the last level right so this is the trick this is the uh, key point that the last is eliminated that's why log n plus 1 minus 1 will be the correct answer many will be uh, like uh, in dilemma is the answer is log n plus 1 only so in this case they are giving answer they are taking on log n plus 1 only okay so the correct answer will be log n plus 1 minus 1 okay so i hope you understood okay so let's go to the next question so the question is which of the following is a self balancing binary search tree binary tree avl tree binary search tree or heap so please think a little then give the answer in the comment section i hope you will give the correct answer if not then you will learn what is the correct okay so the correct answer will be avl tree so i am going to share the trick how to remember and wait i'll share some quiz question please answer those okay 
so uh, in this case avl tree why because an avl tree is a self balancing binary search tree where the difference in heights of the left and right subtrees cannot be more than one for all nodes how can you remember that like uh, a gymnast on a balance beam like a gymnast vault is level level okay so a gymnast vault is level so vault level so the take the only first letter a gymnast vault is level avl okay so this way you can remember avl t will be the correct answer okay so the next question is this which algorithm is used to find the minimum spanning tree for a graph so dj castro's algorithm kruskal's algorithm or bellman ford algorithm or floyd versal algorithm so what will be the correct answer please give the answer in the comment section so i hope you already answered so let me answer that so the correct answer will be in this case kruskal algorithm okay why because kruskal's algorithm finds the minimum spanning tree by sorting all edges and adding them one by one to the spanning tree in increasing order of their weight this ensures no cycles are formed okay and how can you remember this so tip is kruskal's method involves connecting components like knitting okay so kruskal's and knitting both start with k so you can remember this way okay so i hope you understood so the next question is this what is the time complexity of depth first search dfs in terms of verticals b and edges e so these are the options please think a little then give the answer but uh, let's answer that but before i proceed to answer i would recommend you to have the prime materials of any company that you want like action chart tcs mind tree capgemini deloitte tech mahindra infosys joho etc etc so if you want then let me know in the comment section or you can dm me at paste id instagram.com slash techno.tf i will try to assist you but this is paid but affordable okay so i hope you will do it so let's go to the next question the question is this so what is the time complexity of the heap sort algorithm big o of n big o of n log n or big o of n to the power 2 or big o of log n so what will be the correct answer for this case so i hope you will try so the correct answer will be big o of log n log n why because heap sort has a time complexity of big o of n log n due to the repeated removal of the maximum element uh, like a uh, heapify operation like which takes big o of log n time for each of the n elements right each of the n elements that's why big o of n log n is the correct answer how can you remember that sorting using a heap is efficient and log linear log linear that's why n log n will be the correct answer okay so the next and uh, next question is a quiz question and the uh, 12 uh, num question number 12 is also a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to answer the question okay which graph travels algorithm can be used to detect cycles in a graph and what is the main purpose of spanning tree in a graph so these are the questions which were asked today so i hope you will try to answer and being wise by yourself okay so i hope this much of information this much of discussion are helpful for you so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe to this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want to discuss any companies questions any companies details then please join our telegram channel t.me/bikanna and if you want the prime materials again don't forget to dm me at my study instagram.com/techno.tf be mindful this is paid but affordable okay so thank you for your decision